How do you sign a document for free? If you're looking for how to e-sign a document online for free, maybe you're used to using DocuSign or you want to use like a PDF signer, I'm going to give you three different ways that you can get DocuSign or DocuSign-like services for free. Hey guys, my name is Cree Childs. I'm a real estate investor, business owner, and we also operate short-term rentals and corporate housing here in Central Texas. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my what I found out whenever I was looking online for how to get DocuSign for free. Now, I've usually been using Panda Docs, which is good, but they recently swapped out their free service for now I have to pay $29 a month. And if you quantify that over the course of a year, that's about $350 a, month, a year in cash flow that I'm giving up. So rather than go over and just give them that for what is basically a free software online, I figured I'd go ahead and search on the internet and try to figure it out, and I figured that out. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can get DocuSign for free. Now, actual DocuSign. I've also used the signature application on the preview on my Mac, and that's okay as well. It doesn't look as professional and it doesn't have a digital timestamp like the DocuSign document signer does. The other thing is that PandaDocs is kind of a close competitor. However, if you look at the $10 a month fee that DocuSign charges versus the $29 a month for PandaDocs, PandaDocs is one of those corporations that's based in California. They wrote some software and now they think they can sell it for $388 a year, which in my opinion, it's not worth it because really, what are they offering? I mean, they're offering digitally secured signatures. That's basically it. So maybe you wanna get DocuSign, right? How do you do that? Well, I'm gonna show you how I actually was able to install DocuSign in my Google Docs. And this way I can just create Google Docs I can copy and clone signatures. I have everything housed in one space. And yes, the question is how secure is it, but really how secure is anything on the internet? If you don't have your data backed up two or three times, then you're kind of flying blind, right? So really the question is, is not so much how secure it is something, but how many backups do you have? <clears throat> and what kind of contingencies do you have? Do you have insurance, right? So if you're operating with business insurance and you have some backups, that's really basically the best thing you can do. And in addition to that, you can also have secured password managers and also have a protocol for how to handle uh, thumb drives and emails and stuff like that entering your office. But we're not gonna talk about all that today. We're gonna talk about how to get DocuSign for free. All right guys, so first things first is you're gonna wanna open up Google Drive and you're gonna wanna open up a new document and then you're wanting to put that document, uh, actually fill in the document with whatever it is that you're trying to sign whether it's a buyer's rep agreement, a contract, a um, wholesale agreement, a document for a new NDA, or you're gonna do like a 1099 agreement, you wanna put that into a Google Docs folder and then also put that into a Google Doc itself. So I'm gonna pause my screen real quick. So here's the document that we want signing. This is a non-disclosure agreement. We send it out to basically everybody that works with our company. The reason being is that we have confidential information and we don't want that information being spread around because it's how we run our business. So. Other tip that I can give you, this is not legal advice, this is not tax advice, you know, simple disclosure, no guaranteed of earnings, income, blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> the other tip I can give you is that silo your business. So what that means is if you've got somebody that is, let's say they're working in your marketing department, well, you don't want to give them access to every other section of your business. So what you're going to want to do is section out what they can do and what they can't do, right? Give them tasks and whatnot. Now, the understanding with this is that any information that we give them access to, <clears throat> any information that we give them access to, we're gonna make sure that uh, they have this non-disclosure agreement because any information is confidential, whether it's siloed or not. So getting back on track, the way you add DocuSign, literally DocuSign, to your documents is you click here in add-ons, you click get add-ons, and then we're gonna come over here, it's gonna take you to the Google Doc Marketplace, and then all you're gonna search for is DocuSign. And then you're gonna click here. Now guys, I wanna just stop you for a second and just say, if you like this video, if you're getting value from this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we come up with future videos. So you can learn more about how to run your business online in the new digital age. So you're gonna click on DocuSign. And then you're just gonna click on install. And then once it's installed, I'm just gonna uninstall it real quick. Just so you can, guys can kind of see the install process. Okay, so we're gonna click on install.
and then it's going to ask for permission to your Google account so that DocuSign can actually go create contracts, ask, access your contacts, and be able to send out emails and stuff like that. It's really for the form fills and whatnot. If you're concerned about privacy, just know that every major corporation already has all your data. So you're not really giving up anything that's private. Um, they do see your download your contacts. That's so that they can go over and send out the documents to your people. And they can actually use Google short URLs, stuff like that, run it as an add-on, connect to external service. I mean, they are going to use your information to do data, big data and stuff like that. But at the same time, like I said, it's all public information. So it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, <clears throat> and then you hit next, hit done, and then you close this out. And now you should see, once you refresh your screen, it should show up over here in the right-hand corner. Now, it may, might make you actually sign in. So you're going to just sign into Docu, DocuSign. All righty, so it just popped up over here. So we're going to click on that. It's going to ask you to sign in. Boom, there we go. Then we're going to hit allow, and it's going to allow us access to DocuSign. Allow. And then hit next. And then you're going to add whichever recipient you want and hit sign. Now it might make you sign in, which is fine because then this is where the sign in process comes. So it's going to have you sign in to DocuSign. And then you're going to hit continue. So once you've already signed in, it's going to then give you the ability to uh, hit continue. And then you're going to drop in the signatures wherever it needs to go, right? So this is obviously just a template contract that I use. Uh, you're going to put signature right here. And then you're going to put, and it'll actually drop in your signature. And then you're going to also put in you know, their signature right here. Sorry. So that's it's just my sign. Um, come on. Whatever. And then... Uh, it's going to go ahead and send it off to the emails, right? So it's normally going to show a sign box on both parties, and then you're going to send it off to their email, and then it's going to literally trigger the email, and they go and sign it, and then good to go. And that's it. That's how you get DocuSign for free, guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell icon to get notified of when we come out with future videos. And if you haven't already, like me on Facebook. Go over to my Facebook page. Um, give it a, a thumbs up. And also, too, check out our investing community, Millennial Investing Community, on Facebook. If you just go to millennialinvestingcommunity.com, it'll take you straight to Facebook. Check that out. Check out our Instagram. We share a lot of free content about how to get started with investing, how to start a small business, how to actually run and grow and scale your business. And I'll see you guys next time.